know everyone. I hope all of you are fine and good. So today I am going to show you how to prepare revised schedule in just 30 minutes and even less. This is on demand video requested by one of our viewers. But before to start the tutorial, let me introduce myself. I am currently working in Saudi Arabia as a senior planning engineer and a reputed uh, consultancy firm. I am excited to announce that I am starting the free courses for both the junior and senior planning engineers. And all these sessions will cover everything from Planner P6, from starting to advanced level, and a delay analysis, the extension of primes, and the most powerful tool for the data visualization for our BI. All the session will be completely free, of course, and will be based on the real site experience, right? Another thing, I will also be addressing on demand issues. If someone of you guys uh, facing any issues related to the Power P6, related to the extension of time, and related to the Power BI, so, uh, so I will also address uh, that issue. Just uh, write down your issue in the comment section. So I will uh, address your issue. Also, so you have to stay here and please uh, do subscribe to the channel for more videos and its uh, procession. Uh, first of all, we can open the project for which we have to make the revised schedule. Before uh, starting the exercise, first of all, Let's differentiate between the recovery schedule and the revised one. For the recovery uh, schedule, uh, there is no score changes, there is no variation orders, there is no EUT, and you have to use the same milestone. And you just needed the mitigation measure for the recovery baseline. Okay? And for the revised one, uh, if there is a descoping, right? If there is a vacation order, if there is an extension of time awarded, the so, uh, uh, consultant asks you to revise the baseline and you have to make the revised uh, baseline for that, right? So I already opened the layout here and uh, now we will export the Excel file, right? Export the Excel file, next. Activities you have to export uh, activities, activity relationships, expenses, and resource assignments. Only this one. Next, let's go to changes. Next, I already made the layout here. Uh, just follow this layout each and every step here. So, you, so if you want to export the Excel file, so you have to put all these columns as well. And uh, for the Activities you have to export the end progress activities. You, you must note this thing, it should be the end progress activities, right? And also for the activity relationships, you should export these columns for resource assignment. You should export these columns, okay? Now, okay, move next. You have to save the file. I have to set the file here. I have to let the uh, folder for this. So it should be here. Division 2. Open it. Next. And finish. Now I know I open the Excel tool. So this is an Excel tool. You can purchase this online from Software Demi. It is just for uh, 60 uh, USD. Okay, now we will use this option. We split the Excel file, uh, split the activity and the resources. All the details are mentioned here that you see the one, two, three, four. So just to read this all details, okay. And this next, just to import the file where it is saved, we have saved this file and then wipe this line here. This one. So oh, now it needs the uh, date grid. Okay, so we have just moved to the Panora section. Here is the data date. 
okay but you have to write the data date is it the requires okay so it is 11 april now just go to the excel file now it is now spread you just uh, write Now you will to export the file. Just go to the import files. You have to import the Excel. Right? Make sure where is the file? It will be in the C folder. Okay. So uh, we have this file. Okay. We just import this file. Next. Import the same signal. Next, make sure to check all these activities, activity relationship, expenses, resource assignments. Do next and finish. Now, just waiting and the magic is happening now. Okay, all is done. Just uh, close it, move up. If you see here, it's not done. The plan value is not equal to the earn value, and the schedule percent complete is not equal to the performance percent complete. So we will, uh, we are far away just uh, the two steps. So for this, I you make the layout and the global change also. See here just uh, follow these steps okay the activity status is equal to completed and the test start is equal to the actual start okay so we'll do changes here okay two moment changes now we don't need to save the file okay it's done now the second one just open it Activity type is not equal to the start my stall. Activity state is equal to the completed, and the uh, plan finish is equal to the actual finish. Plus one day. I'll explain it uh, later why I put the one. Okay, now just uh, changes. Comma changes. No need to send the file. Okay. Close the file. So. If you see here, all is done, but it's showing here 45.64 and it's showing here 45.63. Just to expand the column. Okay, now it's showing, let's move up, it's showing 44, 45.64 and 45 Now uh, we just to go to the data date yes, and we have to add one day because it will be equal after one day so why not we make it now so just uh, we have to change the data date again Something the file now schedule it okay now you check it here here we go all the things are very fine and good if you see here the schedule percent complete is 481 45.83 and the percent complete is 45.83 and the same is for the R value it is both the same okay now if you see here if go to the schedule option if we have to check the view log because maybe there will be out of sequence activities here yeah we have the out of sequence activities here we have 26 out of sequence activities so before submitting the file to the consultant, we have to remove all these uh, out of sequence. Okay, now we will rectify all these out of sequence also. Cancel it. Uh, for the out of sequence activities, we have to export the file. We have to export the Excel file again. And I will show you the layout also. Just uh, go to the file, export, export the Excel sheet. Uh, and you have to export the relationships only the relationships okay do next 
make sure to check this next i have already made the layout for the outer sequence just i will show you uh, you have to export these columns okay there is uh, no filter no sorting just you have to export uh, these columns okay and then okay next we have to save the file here i need the save the file it's uh, i will rename it three okay open next finish and close okay now i will go to the same excel tool here is the tool now the fix out of sequence there is an option here so just to fix out of sequence just import the file here so this is the file okay so now all is done okay so this is the analytics about the out of sequence and you can read all this and ask to share this with, with the consultant that how you can find out this. Okay. Close it. Now import the file again. Import sheet XMX. Next. And the file it should be on the key folder. All the sequence. All the sequence is out of the software demo. This one. Open it. Next. Will be in the same signal. Next. Activity relationships. Next. And finish. All other things are done. Okay. There we go. If we we have to pick it again. Now we have to check the out sequence. Open the view log. Uh, check the out of sequence. We have the sequence or not. We have go out of sequence at zero. Okay, at zero. But if you noticed here, here we have the some open index activity also. Like with this one with the constraints. Okay. So you have to remove the constraint also. And let me check for the open activities. No, it's not here because the predecessor yes in this one i told you we have the open activities here so before uh, submitting the schedule consultant you have also to rectify the open activities by linking it to the logical relationship okay so you have to rectify all these now come to the file again so now all things are done so, I hope you understand each and every step and let's wrap up the today's uh, session. If you need uh, any personal help and like uh, on demand videos, etc. The topic or issues, we will be here to help you out. So, just write down your email, just write down your you are facing the issue here. I will see it and uh, respond to you.